We present a novel space-time tomography technique for the reconstruction of continuously deforming objects. Computed tomography is a powerful tool for analyzing objects with internal structures or complex geometry. However, it requires hundreds or even thousands of scans from different viewing angles to obtain good results. For deforming objects or phenomena, static reconstruction tomography is unable to provide a good reconstruction. For this wilting rose, the moving petals are badly reconstructed using static reconstruction. We propose a non-parametric space-time tomography method based on a new acquisition strategy and a multi-scale joint optimization framework that alternates between estimating a deformation field and updating a density volume. Instead of using a classical scanning strategy, where the projections are taken in a linear sequence as shown in the top side, we propose a new acquisition strategy, where the viewing angles are based on a low discrepancy sequence as shown in the bottom. This strategy allows for a better distribution of the projection angles over time. After scanning a dataset, the obtained projections are grouped by time steps. An image formation model is introduced for the 4D tomographic reconstruction. Then, spatial and temporal priors on the density volumes and the deformation field are incorporated. Thus, a joint optimization framework alternates between the deformation field estimation and the volume reconstruction. This framework is initialized by applying the SART algorithm on each time frame. Our approach improves the accuracy of the reconstruction compared to baseline methods as seen in the following. Our first results are obtained for a wilting rose. This rose was scanned during a time frame of 9 hours and 32 minutes. For our approach, the number of projections used in the reconstruction of each time frame n theta has to be selected. It should be as high as possible to ensure a good reconstruction for complex structures. On the other hand, this number has to be small enough to avoid motion artifacts due to large deformations. For the rose case, setting n theta to 60 is the best choice, ensuring good reconstruction of geometric features with negligible deformations during each time frame. In this sequence, we compare our reconstruction on the right to a baseline method on the left. A 3D rendering is used for this comparison. Now we compare the evolution of one slice over time. This visualization compares different slices at one time step. Our second dataset represents the flow of a high viscosity transparent fluid that we scanned during 2 hours and 12 minutes. Here, we illustrate on the left a rapid succession of projections acquired during the scanning process from similar viewing angles. On the right side, a 3D rendering of the fluid flow is given for approximately the same angle. In this sequence, we compare our method to four different variants of the SART algorithm using different priors. The first row corresponds to both basic and spatially regularized SART. We can notice temporal incoherence between successive time frames. This is solved by adding a temporal smoothness in the approach, SART HNT. Finally, by using the optical flow prior and the joint optimization framework, our method has the best results for dynamic features in the fluid, as well as for static features, highlighted here by the red ellipses. In the following, we illustrate the reconstruction of dried black mushrooms, rehydrated from melting ice. The duration of the scanning process was 6 hours and 5 minutes. In this slice's visualization, a comparison is given between our method and the baseline method. The brighter cavity in the ice is composed of liquid water, since this ice is partially frozen. When the ice begins melting, at a given stage the liquid water leaves the cavity. Finally, the ice continues its melting and the mushroom hydration is then accelerated. The fourth dataset corresponds to rising dough, which contains a hazelnut inside. This dough was scanned during 4 hours and 27 minutes. For a better visualization of internal structures, the dough is cut. Here, we compare our reconstruction result on the right with the reconstruction obtained with the baseline method on the left. This comparison is also done using Slice's visualization. Finally, we show a visualization of the air bubble's growth over time. Now we present our reconstruction of a mixture of lentil and lupin seeds soaked in water. This scanning process lasted 5 hours and 12 minutes.
we illustrate here on the left a rapid succession of projections acquired during the scanning process from similar viewing angles. On the right side, a 3D rendering of the seed's motion is given for approximately the same angle. Our reconstruction method is compared to the baseline method using the slice visualizations. Here, we show two slice visualizations obtained with our reconstruction method for the same time step. Finally, our last data set shows the dissolution of sugar crystals inside water. This process was scanned during 43 minutes. In this 3D rendering, we can notice a small temporal incoherence illustrated by the red ellipse. This is due to the large deformation of the sugar at the beginning of the process. In this sequence, we show a comparison between our method on the right and the baseline method on the left side. Thank you for your attention.